Hello everyone, for my next few tutorial videos, I'd like to transition from physics to math. Because a lot of advanced math topics, such as trigonometry, algebra, or non-trig geometry, is of the utmost importance if you want to understand why the game algorithms work the way they do. However, not every algebra or trig formula is necessary to understand game design. Only the more relatively simple ones, which I will explain explicitly as the tutorials progress. I believe if you are a creative person or an artistic one, the geometry would be easiest for you to understand because it is all about studying how the art works from an analytical perspective. With that out of the way, I can explain the most simplest type of shape first the square, as well as prove why the area and perimeter formulas are the way they are. Although to many people it may be obvious that the perimeter of a square must be four times the length of the side, or that the area is the sides squared, in geometry you have to prove things explicitly. You cannot simply assume things based on your intuition. So our first step is understanding the definition of perimeter and area and this is defined as the perimeter is the outside length of the shape and the area is the total amount of 2D space an object takes up. We also must draw the shape on a grid where each small square on the grid is one unit. The strict definition of a square as we might be able to see when we draw it down is that it is a four-sided object, no more no less, where all the sides are equal. To calculate the perimeter, we first count the number of units along the length of one of the sides, and we can see right away, because of how a square is drawn and defined, that the number of units is equal on all sides, regardless of which length you start at. So therefore, the perimeter is equal to length plus length plus length plus length, or four times length for short. Although you may also see the formula expressed as 4s, where s means side or side length. By similar reasoning, for the area, we can see right away that the number of horizontal rows and vertical rows must be equal, owing to the fact that the sides have the same length. Therefore, the area is length times length, or length squared for short. Now that we have proved the most basic geometric shape, the square, we can investigate the rectangle in the next tutorial video. Don't forget to subscribe if you found this video informative, and make sure to see other tutorial videos, and follow me on either Facebook or Twitter for more content.